So you know, uh, you know, moving along, you know, now you in high school. You know, did did you go? Did you was you in school or was you out there on the streets doing your thing? You know what I'm saying? Were you right. at Compton Dominguez or what, what was you doing? Where All was right, you at? So, so um, I couldn't go to Dominguez. Okay. I couldn't go to Compton High. I pretty much got kicked out the school district, bro. Uh. Honestly. So I went to Compton Say That's over there on Cover in the Fruit Towns. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? It was a, it's a continuation school. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah. Because I couldn't, I couldn't go to no, no. I got kicked out the district, bro. Yeah. For my little behaviors and shit. Yeah, no. Two of my cousins went there. I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I'm talking about. So, um, yeah, I, I couldn't attend no regular high schools, bro, in the city. Yeah. And then um, after I got kicked out of Compton Say I, um, they were trying to send me to Cesar, Cesar Chavez. It's mm. over there in the chorus. Okay. But you know what the mentality I got, I ain't no I I'm not no dumb nigga, bro. So I know it is that school over there and I'm not finna go for nothing, blood. I'm not finna go for no dissing, no pack out. So I'm like telling my mama, like, nah, that's not a cool, that's not that's not a good look, like whatever, whatever. So I went to a continuation school in Bellflower. I think this was my ninth grade year. Yeah. Um, it's called Bay Center. And uh I think that was when I went to I went I did one of my my first camp program or I think I just went back to the halls okay. for another little case for a violation. Yeah, so I did I was in school for like a little bit of my ninth grade year. I was in school for a little bit of my tenth grade year, and then my eleventh grade year. That's when I went to jail. Gotcha. And got did you. all that time. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Got you. And we're gonna get there. So, so. Ninth, tenth grade, you know, and everything like that. Like you said, you going through this school, that school, and and getting kicked out and everything. Yeah. Usually, I always say around this time is when a, a young boy now get in t- into those stages to where you're gonna be a man soon. Start to kind of like find, you know, who you are a little bit to yeah. getting into what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and we get we extreme with it. Yeah. This is what I want to do. This is who I want to be. If it's ball, you practicing and you hooping all the time. You know what I'm saying? Sure. If, if if it's on the uh, uh, on the game, you on the game twenty four seven. You know what I'm saying? If it's you know game banging, you game banging twenty four seven. You just go really hard with what you're trying to do and and, and who you are and everything. Yeah. At this time, where would you say you was at with with with, your, with, with who you was becoming what and you who you were? Uh, when I was in eleventh grade or the 10th around grade? like ninth tenth grade, around that time. I mean, I was already uh, I was on my way to be uh, the knucklehead that I was. <laughs> Nah, real shit. Um, probably a couple months before I went to jail for the murder I went to jail for and shit. I was seventeen. I had just turned seventeen. Well, this was I was sixteen because I when I turned seventeen, sixteen days later was when the murder had occurred. So I was still 16. I was 16. I had a girl that was like 23, pregnant, and I didn't even like notice this this lady and shit. She didn't know me. She just beat me in traffic and shit. And she was digging the nigga swag or whatnot. And uh, long story short, I end up me and her having sex and shit. And then. I go to Vegas. One of the homies they stayed in Vegas. I go to Vegas or whatever, whatever. At this time, this when I know like the police they looking for me and shit. So boom, I, I come back to the city. When I come back, I see her. She tell me she pregnant and all this sort of shit. And I remind you, I don't really know. I don't. Even, I just know the girl first name. Like I don't know nothing about her. That's it. She just know my name G, and I'm from Treetop. Are mm. like, you for me? So me. Being the logical thinker that I am, bro, I'm telling her, like, look, I don't know you. You don't know me. I'm on the run for some shit. I'm not going to be able to be there for you or the kid if it's mine. So I think, like, the best thing to do at this point is get an abortion type shit. You feel me? Yeah. But for whatever reason in her mind, like... <laughs> I, I I don't know why, but she just wanted to keep the baby, like regardless of whether if I was gonna be in the the kid life or not. Mm. And I'm telling her like, bro, like I don't mean no disrespect by telling you this, but 
on some logical shit, bro. Like I wanna, I'm the type of man that if I have a kid, bro, I wanna be in my kid life, bro. Yeah. I wanna be there every stage, every step of my kid life, bro. Yeah. And I know the shit that I'm doing in these streets, what I got currently going on, bro. I'm not gonna be able to do that. Yeah. So let's let I, that's the route I think we should go. And yeah, nigga, the, the bitch didn't wanna hear all that. Mm. Like you feel me? She kept it. Basically, yeah, she nah. It. Actually, she told him she had an abortion on Paul Roo, She told and him, and then recently when he got out, she contacted me after I, after she, she seen got me booming. A whole, he got a whole she fourteen seen a nigga year old. Bracken. What? <laughs> I'm bonting. Got a whole fourteen year old. I'm bonting. <laughs> but it's like, it's like, all right, I go to jail. Like, bitch, I kept be gangster with you. I told you what the fuck I had going on and why I felt this way. Yeah. So you knew, bitch, if you wasn't seeing me in the hood. You knew where I was at. Yeah. Like, you feel me? You knew a nigga name, bitch. You knew you you know my homies, bitch. You could have got in contact with me. So you mean to tell me after I do all them 13 years, boom, I parole. I'm out now for, prob for probably about a year yeah. or so. But I'm I'm doing my music shit. You seen they making stories on me about me on Swamp Stories. Oh, now, bitch, you want to get in contact with a nigga and let me know. After you done told me before I went to jail, you had an abortion. <sighs> so you mean to tell me you wait 14 motherfucking years to tell me that this nigga might be my son? Yeah. Bitch, you foul. Wow. Bitch, you's a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Super foul. That's yeah, crazy. Come on, blood. Like, Damn. for real. But you expect me to stop everything I going on with my wife, with my weird ass baby mama, to come and, 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 and tend to you and, and, and this little nigga that can possibly be mine? After you done had all this time, bitch. Who you knew nothing about. I knew Animal. nothing about, bro. Crazy. He knew he was a daddy, though, the whole time. <laughs> Man, get so, to No. <laughs> so, so you knew. Oh, Man, a, little, a little. But then a little bit of you feel like, hey, I, she probably had the kid. A little bit. Fuck no. Once the bitch told me she had an abortion. Gotcha. Because I know women. That's I know true. women. I know women that got dignity about themselves, bro. Like, they, they against the abortion shit in the first place. So if, if if a female tell you she got an abortion, then we wasn't dealing with a woman that had dignity. She, you, she yeah. didn't even know your last name when she had sex. But with listen you. to what <laughs> listen to what I'm saying though, because y'all talking about I knew I had a kid. It was a joke. <laughs> yeah, don't 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 play with me like that. It was a joke. Yeah, yeah no, we can't do that <laughs> because now we're gonna get into some old some political <laughs> shit. <laughs> you know, about, don't do that. Yeah, I was yeah, joking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, real <laughs> talk, real talk. Yeah. But you know. It is what it is, bro. You yeah. feel me? It's just to show you that the fucked up world we living in today, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, nigga, how a motherfucking kid coming with, with all the logic and you are a full-grown-ass woman. You 23. I'm only 16, bro. I'm telling you. Yeah. Like, wow. You feel me? Uh-huh. Yeah, but, yeah. But, you know, people is crazy these days. Yeah, definitely. That's why I keep my circle small. Keep twisting, heavyweight flow, you not in my position.